What is going on guys? Welcome to today's video, Panther Nation, Pantherologists. We are going to be talking about the Teddy Bridgewater, you know, possibly either staying, multiple trade offers or multiple teams that, you know, could use him possibly. Uh, basically just kind of talking about his future and what's going on in, in the front office between them and stuff like that. So anyways, before we get into today's videos, I always ask that you pound that like button, pound the subscribe button, comment down below, and click that post notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of the new content. So well, before we get into today's topic, I did have a 750th subscriber. They did get the $75 gift card, so congratulations to them. Also, the 1,000 subscriber, I'm going to switch it up this time. So it makes it a little bit, um, you know, more difficult. I'm going to be picking a number between, a random number between 1 and 1,000. And whoever guesses it right, you know, comment on this video. Guys, keep subscribing. But whoever guesses it right... Uh, you're gonna have to comment on this video though. I will give them I will they will receive a Sam Donald jersey or a jersey num a jersey of their choice of the Carolina Panthers. Okay? Not not any other team, just the Carolina Panthers. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk about today's video, the Teddy Bridgewater, future, everything. So the first thing is is what will happen to Bridgewater after the Darnold trade, you know, you know, Teddy's time is ticking in Charlotte. So after trading for former Jets quarterback, Sam Darnold, the Panthers made it almost certain that they have, that they will probably move on from Teddy Bridgewater in the near future. Now, Carolina traded away this year's sixth round pick as well as the second and the fourth rounder uh, in next year's draft. It seems as though Darnold is the young quarterback that Carolina will be rolling with in 2021. But Scott Fitterer also stated that the team could still address the quarterback position in this year's draft. So based on the Darnold move as well, as Fitter suggesting that the Panthers might not be done with addressing their quarterback situation. It leads many to question where that leaves Teddy Bridgewater. So Scott Fitter stated uh, th that the Panthers are going to find the right place for him, whether it's, you know, here in Carolina or it's somewhere else. So this obviously heavily implies that it's, likely for everyone to expect to see Bridgewater in a jersey that isn't black and blue this season. So what are Bridgewater's options? You know, the, the Panthers allow the 28-year-old to seek a trade from other teams, but we saw how that worked out for, you know, Cam Newton in the long run. So Bridgewater will make $10 million guaranteed and a $7 million non-guaranteed in 2021. While it might not seem like much for a starting quarterback, his contract may turn teams away from him based on his m mediocre performance. Bridgewater would have to restructure his contract in order for other teams to facilitate realistic trade offers, but would he want to take less money from a franchise that has blatantly decided to move on from him? Uh, it might not seem likely on paper, but restructuring could benefit him in the long term. So teams such as, you know, the, the Broncos, he could also go back to the Saints, Patriots and the 49ers are still experimenting at quarterback. So a trade with one of them could make sense if he accepts a lower price tag. If a trade doesn't work out, the Panthers could always cut Bridgewater, which is exactly what they did with Cam Newton last year. Doing so wouldn't create an ideal situation for either party since Bridgewater may have trouble finding a team and Carolina would have to eat a $10 million cap hit. 
So Federer made it clear that the Panthers will try to help Bridgewater receive the best deal for what he is worth. But at the end of the day, the general manager's top priority is going to be the organization. So we will see how this saga unfolds as the 2021 offseason continues in Carolina. So let's talk about teams who I think should be interested in trading for the, the Panthers quarterback, Teddy Bridgewater. So at this point, it seems like the best case scenario for Bridgewater would be to land somewhere that as a quarterback controversy and has question marks surrounding the future of the position. No team is going to trade for him thinking that he is the undoubted starter. He's going to have to compete for a starting job or possibly go to, to a contending team as the you know backup. So let's take a look at a couple teams that I think should entertain the idea of obviously trading for Mr. Bridgewater. First team I'm thinking of is New England. All right. So let's all be honest here, okay? Cam Newton is the starter, but the Pats need some insurance just in case Newton gets banged up. They've spent more money in free agency this offseason than they usually do. So it would not surprise me if they continue to be aggressive and add another quarterback to the fold. The next team... I think is the Miami Dolphins. Similar situation here with Miami in that Tua is going to be the starter. But health isn't really the concern. It's the development part of of it. So Tua has shown some flashes here and there, but he has been very inconsistent. And often struggles late in games so last year i mean the dolphins had to bring in ryan fitz you know fitzpatrick especially uh, essentially out of the bullpen in other words to either close out games or provide the offense with a spark and Tua's game is very limited right now until he expands what he can do they you know they need to have another viable option The next team I want to talk about here, the Houston Texans. So do I really need to explain this one? (laughs) Because, you know, by the day, it's beginning to look more and more like that Deshaun may not play in a game this upcoming season. So not for the Texans, not for not for anybody. So who knows how long the off the off field stuff will continue. To drag on, but the deeper it goes into the offseason, the less likely it is that we will see him in uniform in the fall. So the other two court the other two quarterbacks on the roster are Tyrod Taylor and Ryan Finley. Not sure either of those are the best options to replace Watson. So if you add Bridgewater into the mix, it will at least provide some healthy competition. Next team here, the Denver Broncos. All right? The Broncos haven't done a very good job at hiding it, so to speak. But they are not sold on Drew Locke as the future. They've dipped their hat into the rumor mill more mill more than a few times this offseason and could be one team that makes a move up in the draft to select a quarterback. Jeff Driscoll and Brett Ryan aren't really going to push Locke for the starting job. And if Locke wants to remain the starter, I think competition is exactly what he needs. The next team here is the Chicago Bears. Now, aside from... The Bears easily have the most playoff-ready team on this list. 
The one area that still remains a concern for them is the quarterback. Can Andy Dalton really be trusted to lead this team to a wild card spot or perhaps compete for an NFC North division title? I'm not buying it. So I guess we'll see where Bridgewater goes or if he stays in Carolina. Let's just hope that we make the right trade and for him and not only for him, but for us. So guys, pound that like button, pound the subscribe button. Like I said, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Click that post notifications bell uh, so you don't miss out on the new videos. So guys, like I said, if you get me up to a thousand subscribers, the thousandth subscriber who guesses the number one through a thousand. So you got to guess it. Comment down below and guess the number that you think. I'm going to pick a random number and then whoever gets it. And once that I reach a thousand subscriber, that member, that subscriber will get a Sam Darnold jersey or a Carolina Panthers jersey, whoever on the team you would like. All right. Panther Nation, Pantherologists, you know what to do. Keep pounding.